okay so that's what i'm feeling is coming through uh the strongest the way that you are carrying yourself in the ways that you communicate we have here the um magician this is one of the best card as it deals with communication it indicates somebody who's very eloquent with their speech somebody who has a uh, who who has like a voice of authority so even if you are not in a position of you know power like you're not a manager a supervisor or ceo a head of a company you still have a lot of um power of persuasion and the ability to uh, intelligently uh, narrate you know um, provide provide advice to narrate so you speak with an air of authority on a specific topic and I do feel people around you they listen to you mainly because they trust you so this is a very good card that indicates your communication sector is opening up and it's opening up not in a way where you know you are limited as to whether or not you can um, I guess like express con like concepts, either abstract or concrete concept. This is an encapsulation, uh, encapsulation of all the elements. So, you know, he has like everything on the table. So the, the suit of, um, pentacles, um, cups as well as swords and wands. So this is somebody who is able to, um, I guess like synthesize all of their life experience, all the things that they've learned as well as, you know, the, the things that was passed down to them so that they can, holistically get their point across using a myriad of anecdotes through you know their lifetime they have collected a lot of practical as well as um, even institutional knowledge so that they can communicate in a way that allows other people to um, trust them and to trust in their expertise so if you are doing any type of public speaking engagement this is a card that is telling you to look into this sector as it relates to your career okay and if you are any in any type of position where uh, you are kind of like in the public limelight so I do see teachers politicians um, um, community community like advocates you know people doing some type of um, where they're kind of like on center stage all the time they have to give other people directives and they have to also project an air of competency and uh, i'm seeing like a you know like a, a loud voice you guys are not usually somebody who's like aggressive but i feel like there is a, a moment coming through for this month as it relates to your work environment where you are going to have to kind of like exert that air of authority in the work environment okay and so it's a great card for salespeople. it's a great card for people who are giving seminars who work in a communications um type of field communication is um it deals with language it deals with voice it also deals with publishing printing as well so anything that you put on paper anything that you try to communicate with the general population it is going to be very very well received okay um i do feel like for some of you um the the career sector is showing up heavily in your relationship so let me just say this this is a card about somebody possibly working two jobs okay so one main gig and one side gig or doing two side gigs to piece together a full-time job this is a card that basically is telling you about you know the the work life personal life balance and um i do feel here for some of you you have entered into you know some type of a new relationship and it's solid it's very stable you want to take things to the next level but I do feel because both of these cards are in you know opposition to one another it basically is telling you that there are going to be challenges when it comes to your work sector uh, either the hours or either the financial income that's coming through that's going to affect um, the relationship so this is something you know coming in early um, that you might want to try to flush out okay getting your um, your work situation Situation in a more of a stable consistent manner getting the appropriate rest and getting the proper time off so you know the proper weekends off or the proper um, just the proper vacation days off so that you can uh, devote that to your relationship sector so it's telling you to balance the personal life and the work life all right um, I'm also feeling that some of you might have had um, a very like a, a relationship where responsibilities might have been very one-sided so one person might have been doing all the work and then the other person either contributed you know financially or did not contribute at all so i feel like a very wobbly um 
environment in your past as it relates to some type of a relationship that you were in. And because of that, you really like your, your, you, you enjoy your alone time, you enjoy your company. And so it's a little bit of a challenge trying to incorporate another person into your life. Um, I'm seeing some of you, you know, you, you might be like, um, single coming through this year, trying to adopt a new pet or with like one or two kids and you're inundated with a lot of responsibilities. But I feel like this is, uh, like the month of March was a very pivotal month where things start to stabilize. And also it's, it's almost like you got yourself into a very good routine and then having another person, a relationship partner, especially in your romantic sector, I feel like it's also eating away or chipping away at that sense of normalcy. So you're not really sure how much to invest and you're trying to find that good balance. Okay. Um, in your housing sector, we have here the Ace of Cups and it did show up in the reverse position. This is a card in which there might have been like a major falling out uh, within the household unit. So this can also deal with in-laws. It can also deal with, you know, a relationship partner. If you have been living with them, there is some type of um, they're saying like um, a housing situation that needs to be sorted out for this month. So with the Ace of Cups, this is something that is ideal. You know, it's the ideal love. And if it falls into your fourth house, which is family, I do sense falling out between family members. So, you know, be very careful about the way you communicate and honestly pick your battles. You are coming in very persuasive. So I don't feel like you're going to be backing down from something that needs to be said from like uh, stating the truth or stating your case to a family member. And as a result of that, I feel like it can create hurt feelings as well. But I feel that you're in a position where you need to give uh, somebody a piece of your mind in your family unit. And as a result of that, it can create this rift. And I feel like you might have been dealing with this rift for quite some time. Okay. For some of you, I do feel like, um, possibly health news as it relates to a member of your family. And I do see younger pets. I, I do see like, you know, uh, younger or older pets. I do see, uh, younger children. I do see like, you know, um, under the teenage years, like from 12 and below. So some issues here regarding, um, regarding um just they're, they're saying like unconditional love when it comes to family members it's almost like you're telling somebody you should do it this way this is the right way to do it and no matter what they're not listening to you okay so if it's not your child that you're dealing with i feel like you need to take more of a hands-off uh, parenting approach and then for others of you the living environment is becoming a little bit unbearable and you're trying to explore um new housing options so i do feel here this is traditionally what I consider new projects, but also new housing arrangements. So I'm sensing many of you are in a housing situation. It's becoming a little bit stifling. Um, it could be, you know, issues with neighbors, landlords is what I'm feeling as well, or being in an environment where you don't feel that sense of peace. Okay. So water signs are deeply very, uh, home body oriented. And when you come home, you want it to be a place of safety and a place of comfort and like a refuge for you. But there's something here. There's some type of discord in your neighborhood or in your environment where it's not making you feel like it's the ideal situation anymore. So you are possibly thinking about exploring other housing opportunities okay um, if you have been looking at it at houses and new apartments or new you know change of scenery it is going to be coming through for you and uh, I also feel like at this point you might have stayed for the past two years at a job mainly so that you could get that you know the the um, the, the job stability or the security so that you can get yourself into a new home and if that's the case, I feel like it's going to pan out for you. All right. So I do see new housing arrangements coming through. I do see a living situation that's not ideal and you want to break free from it. And you are at a point where you are making quite a bit of money. And so you're telling yourself, why not? On the one hand, you know, I have the security. If For those of you who might be living with like parents or grandparents, I feel that this is the month in which you're trying to branch out so that you can get your own space. And I feel like you're looking at greener pastures. Like once I have my own space, I have all this room, I have all this freedom, I can get a pet, I can have more children and things like that. So I am seeing some major goals being reached here for the month of April. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people possibly like living with parents or living with um, a, a family situation uh, where there are, you know, like generational uh, families 
family members that um, that are in the same environment. So I feel like you are at a point where you're making quite a bit of money. Your financial situation is going to stabilize for this month. And so I feel like you're thinking about renting your own space or even sharing space with a friend or with like a, a co-worker or something like that. So that's going to pan out really, really well for you. For those of you who have your own property, I feel more of a cocooning type of energy. So you're trying to break out, you're trying to do more outdoor activities, you're trying to, you know, connect with new people and form your new uh, group association so that you can um, have a little bit more, I guess, like freedom of movement when it comes to, you know, uh, being uh, feeling a little bit more welcome and embedded in your community. Um, the With the Ace of Wands coming through, this is a card greatly about, you know, outdoor activities as well as um, like hiking. Uh, I do see a lot of uh, working out, but doing so in a more outdoors type of environment rather than a gym. So I feel that there is going to be, you know, new partnerships um, being formed surrounding recreational activities. And I also feel for some of you, you might be dabbling in multiple projects. There is another person coming through with a third project. It seems very exciting and fun. And I feel like you are going to uh, take on new additional projects uh, to make money, but also because you feel like it's going to be a challenge. and It's going to be quite fun for you. Um, I do feel don't over, um, don't overwork and don't stretch yourself too thin for this month. I do send some of you, um, I do see a lot of, um, allergic reactions. I do feel as well, uh, you know, rest and re and restoration is going to be needed for you. And especially towards the tail end of April. Okay. Um, I'm seeing like fevers and, you know, we are heading into, um, the time of Aries. It's a fire sign. So it, it greatly rules the head. And, um, I do see like, you know, head fevers as well as migraines, those things can be kicked up. So just, um, be a little bit careful, um, get lots of, uh, fluids and make sure like, you know, if you're doing physical activities, don't push yourself too hard. Okay. So I do sense that coming through like fevers, headaches, and also, uh, head flus as well out al like allergies, congestion, and things like that associated with the sinus passages and the head. So, um, take good care of your health, keep yourself, you know, hydrated. Okay. In terms of your career, let me talk about this. This is a situation where we are working behind the scenes and we're not really sure if we're making progress or if we're getting the um, compensation or the accolades or the positive reception that we deserve, okay? Sometime for this month, you're going to want to step away from uh, the, the background, like the backdrop, and you're going to be put into a position where you're going to be able to um, have other people look up to you. And I feel some of you, you know, you're, you're very good at a career where I, I feel like you don't shy away from hard work. You're really okay working behind the scenes and making sure things are taken care of logistically so that events, so that, uh, the, the workflow can, you know, um, can flow really well. But this is the month in which you are questioning the validity of what you're doing. So, um, I do see as well. They are saying, you know, the, the ego space, operating from an ego space. So just be a little bit, uh, careful about that. Okay. Um, it is also, you know, the, the April timeframe is going to bring in, um, that retrograde cycle for Mercury and Mercury deals with communication and it's going to last until March, uh, I'm sorry, until, uh, May 3rd. So your communication sector looks very strong, but I do feel that the people around you, especially in the work environment, they might undervalue the contributions that you're making to the work project. And so just, you know, let the energy pass. Don't uh, kick up anything. Don't get confrontational. Okay. But I feel like there is a, a, an element here about, you know, are we on the right track when it comes to our career? What do we do now? What other behind the scenes project? can we get, uh, get involved in? And I also feel like some of you might be working in a more clandestine type of an operation, doing research behind the scenes. Okay. Um, doing something that you can't reveal to the public. So this can be laying down the groundwork, preliminary groundwork for a major project to take off or even doing like cost benefits analysis. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people doing analysts 
research as well as investigation, investigative type of types of work. And this is also a work where there is a lot of paperwork involved as well. So you might be even uh, be in some type of a therapy work where there's a lot of like backlogged items that needs to be documented or a lot of things that needs to, um, it, it's almost like rushing to finish up reports so that you can submit them and close out cases. So case managers, uh, researchers, investigators, and I'm seeing people that might be working behind the scenes a lot, um, sending out payments for clients, for example, so that you can get, you know, the, the full amount paid up front. So that's what you're spending uh, the majority of the month catching up on, wrapping up old projects so that you can start fully start into new things okay so it's a really good energy and i feel like there's quite a bit of money to be had that can be co uh, be coming through for a lot of you so i see a lot of wrapping up old things uh, and starting new things as well at the same time so make sure you don't stretch yourself too thin don't burn the midnight oil and um be careful about you know um towards the last week of the month take very good care of your health okay Take those, um, take your vitamins and especially just get in a lot of water because I feel like we're heading into warmer months for those of us in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. So I feel like if you're outside overtaxing yourself, it might wreak its havoc on you. Okay, as a water sign, you need to rehydrate and get plenty of fluid in your system. Um, one of your fears that I'm feeling here is a situation where a lot of you might have in the past experienced um, a work environment where you feel like you were underpaid or underemployed. So it felt almost as if your skills weren't properly utilized. And you're also telling yourself as well that you don't want to... Um, to fall back into this rut, you don't want to fall back into this position. And I do sense for some of you, there might have been uh, schooling situations that for whatever reason, you couldn't finish up or you didn't finish up. And for whatever reason that is, so you're still thinking about that. I don't feel you starting anything right now in the uh, schooling sector, but you're heavily thinking about do I really need to go back to school so that I can, you know, get myself into a position where I'm not underpaid and underemployed? So you're heavily thinking about skills upgrade, learning a new course, possibly a new language, or even um, learning a new, I'm seeing like accounting system, or even like learning a new software. So spending time even in the work environment, uh, refreshing your skills or um, taking up like uh, new courses so that you can learn a new skills as it relates to something that you're doing in the work front. Uh, what I'm also sensing as well is um, I'm feeling some of you are having almost this, um, I'm, I'm seeing like uh, dreams of lands far away and you're trying to get your financial situation in order so that you can take a major trip. So I feel like you want to do it. You might have wanted to do it in February, but for some reason, um, you might have been waiting for another person to take the trip with. And this is the month in which you might be um, talking very casually, you know, in a preliminary way uh, with another person. And you're trying to run some ideas by them. Like, do you want to go here? Do you want to go here? And I feel like you're dreaming about faraway lands. I'm honestly seeing this image of you guys on a recliner, you know, um, having like a drink, like just sitting in a, in a living room on a recliner, watching TV, and you're seeing like clear waters, you're seeing like um, snow covered mountains, you're seeing like foreign lands, you're seeing lands that are far away, very exotic. And um, I feel like you want to be there. And a lot of the, the hesitation that you have, honestly, it's because you feel like you couldn't do it alone. You you either were waiting on another person to uh, do it with, or you're just like, oh, it's a pipe dream. And um, I feel like there might have been financial constraints. There might have been housing constraints too, where you can't easily relocate, right? But this is the month in which those dreams are coming back in, where you might tell yourself um, it's totally doable. And um, honestly, I feel like it is definitely doable, but you don't know how to take that first step. And so they're really urging you. Everything you need is right in front of you, right? And like all the, the, the planning that needs to do. 
trips don't just happen on a whim. We we really need to plan for it. And especially if we're not living in like, you know, um, financial abundance, we are going to need to plan for it even more. So it might take two months for you to start saving, for you to start planning in order for this trip to happen. But I feel like some of you are just wanting to get away. So there's a lot of little trips taken here and there, and it, they're going to inspire you to take that big trip. Okay. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people going to like retreat centers or even taking like weekend, you know, getaways. And these little trips are really going to inspire you to take the plunge and, you know, go for that big, big trip that might take like two months to plan. It might happen for you in the summer time frame, But with this card here, it's basically you're deciding on something and you're just like, I'm not going to let my fears get the most of me. I'm going to do it and it's going to happen and it's going to happen in two months time. So I feel like you're laying out some type of a game plan in order to make education happen as well as a big trip for yourself. Okay. So we have some really good energies. I haven't seen it uh, this strong for you guys for the past three months. And I was getting worried. But I feel like this is the month in which, you know, financially things will straighten themselves out. You have a really good power of attraction about you. For those of you who are single, you some of you are taking relationships to the next level, wanting to make an offer here for something a little bit more solid, for something a little bit more stable. You're trying to break out of your comfort zone and you're trying to... I feel like, you know, uh, when I think about Pisces, I think a lot of you guys, um, you're also like that extension of Aquarius where you care deeply about people and you care about people in a very emotional way. Aquarius, they know how to detach. But I feel like because you care so much, you might also want to watch your boundaries. But this is the month I feel where your energy is coming in very, very strongly. You don't have issues here when it comes to boundaries because the past three months has been about scrapping away what's no longer working. This is the month in which you are overcoming the negative self-talk, all the, you know, uh, self-doubt that you, that you have been um, kind of like inundated with. Those things are chipping away. And I do sense for some of you, a lot of it has to do with, you know, entering a, a school environment where you're coming to terms with people who are like-minded. They're inspiring you. And then for others, it's sort of like sitting on that recliner, thinking about what you want your life to look like, but not taking the solid steps to do that for the past three months. You're going to do it this month. Okay. And the energy is highly supportive. If it doesn't work out, do it again. So I feel like it's happening in a, a Mercury retrograde cycle because this has been something that you were thinking about heavily for the past four months. It's coming back in. It can't be ignored. You need to do it. And it starts here with a house move. It starts here with travel. It starts here with finishing up something that you couldn't finish, finish up at a later time. Okay, so you have some really good energies here, Pisces. 